Someone once said that when you truly lose something, you can never get it back. Perhaps that's what happened. Perhaps that little slip was what allowed this family to transcend all that humanity could ever achieve as a group. The Bactucks were a family of researchers. The members of this family varied from peddlers, to merchants, to herbalists, and doctors. They all in their own way had an unquenchable lust for knowledge. One wise person can be ignored but a group of people. That's a threat. At one of their annual family gatherings, the Bactucks were enjoying a lovely banquet when one of the family members who had been missing for a few years, and had just returned, brought out a book he had got after participating in a long war for several years. The country considered it a national treasure, but since there was no one who could read the language of the book anymore, they gladly gave it to him for his immeasurable help in their victory. He swayed the book around bragging about the mysteries it could contain, and how he was planning to set out on a journey to find someone who could read it. But then one of his family members stepped forward, and asked a weird question. Is that not ancient bricks? The language before runes? He asked with a shocked expression. The whole gathering went silent, and they quickly gathered around to hear the contents of the book. They couldn't help it, they were back tucks. As they sat, and listened to their brother recite the contents of the book, the atmosphere became heavier, and heavier, and none of them could even stop him as he flipped page after page. They sat there silently until he was done reading the whole book. When he closed the book, everyone had a bright look on their face. They closed their doors, and windows and went to sleep without uttering a single word. The shadows sent by those who considered them a threat vanished into the darkness, and a few moments later, there was a bright light. It covered the whole house, and the shadows rushed out to see what was going on but it was too late. They were nowhere to be found. A book that was said to be a certain blacksmith's journal, and was lost by someone far far away and then found here, had now made a dent in history. A family that without a doubt would have brought prosperity, and progress to the world vanished never to be found, like a hidden curse. The kings, and queens, who had been tailed by ninjas, assassins, and all sorts of spies felt a shiver down their spine when they heard the news, relief or anguish. They couldn't decide. As they couldn't shake off the feeling that something unacceptable, had been created at last. 